What's happening, Peacock? How you going, bro? Oh, I'm fantastic. Living the dream. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. Oh, Friday down the fucking meat revels and complete the NPC fucking cycle. Love it, sick. What do you got for me, man? You got any fucking stories for me or what? Uh, I've got stories. Uh, you know, I like to keep up to date with uh, extraterrestrials, uh, orbs, uh, objects of uh, unknown origin. Uh, mm. UAPs, they now call them for some unknown reason. Interesting. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's it's a. Not uh, anymore. What's that? It's not even UAPs anymore. There's a different fucking acronym for them. Okay, so what what is that acronym? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's not identified aerial phenomenon anymore. It's not UAPs. Uh, They've changed it again. Anomalous or our, uh, look. Yes. Yes. Aerial, anomalous aerial phenomenon. No, 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 not area because it can go underwater now. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And it's not really actually, they don't know if they're actually flying or not. So they, because to us, flight, right? Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever witnessed yourself? I know you looked at the skies all the time and you've seen craft that are human, right? And they've got wings. Yep. These craft uh, appear to not have any like flight, like what we think of as flight is, you know, with wings, lift, uh, thrust, power. Uh, you yeah, know the man. basics of flight, right? I assume you are, uh, you're, you know, you're aware of flight and yes. how it works. They have a different propulsion system than what we can't even fucking fathom. Exactly. Look, look. Okay. Before I get into the UAPs, I just want to go from my own personal experience. Uh, as I was winding down the uh, the Southern Ranges, in um, did something just fall? Anyway, as I was winding down the hill, I've crested over in my vehicle and I was looking in the sky. You know how you do. Yep. And I've seen this uh, object. It mm-hmm. was white. Uh, it was white in nature. Uh, yep. it, the sun was reflecting off it, so it yep. looked like it was like you know an actual object of, like you know, mm-hmm. like say you look at this this blade here. You know, it has mm-hmm. edges. It could have a shadow and stuff like that. Um, yep. So I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Like I was looking at my windscreen. It's not a fucking dead bug. It's not another a bird that's been like impaled into my windscreen again. This thing is just there, right? It's not moving. So mm-hmm. I've gone down the hill and I've come back up. It's gone. Like, it literally is gone. I looked, uh, you know, my left, north, south, whatever. Couldn't see the fucking thing. And I did explain to you, uh, like, you know, the white object and that. You've said you've seen uh, similar objects. Ah, absolutely, man. I've um, seen them multiple times, man. It's amazing if you just fucking look up how many times you actually see objects in the sky, much like what you've seen, where it's reflecting off the sun so you know it's there. And then it doesn't just go in a fucking, say, north to fucking east pattern or fucking west to fucking south pattern like planes fucking do and just fucking disappears. I have seen them multiple times. And, man, if people just look up, we've been saying this for the last fucking year and a half, if people just look up, you will see. Tell me what's going on with the UAPs, man. Yeah, so anyway, uh, a whistleblower or a man has written men, uh, his memoirs, which is called Intimate. Mm-hmm. Intimate? Or- Intimate. Intimate. Intimate, like as in so – Sounds Intimate, uh, um, very sexual in nature. Mm. Uh, yeah, so he, he he's written his memoir. He was a he's, he's been in the army. He got recruited in I think mid two thousands uh, into the advanced aerospace threat identification program, ATIP for mm-hmm. short. Uh, mm. Then he was further uh, introduced by these people into another secret uh, government program. Mm-hmm. And he's so he's got he has a lot of things. He's talked about the the, the orbs, the tic tac, uh, his experiences. Um, so that he, he was saying that there's been advanced technology made off-world by non-human intelligence, which has mm. been alleged foreign biological implants have been found in military personnel after UF, UFO encounters. So in layman's terms, they've replicated them. Yes. So Gee <laughs> I've got an article. Where is it? I'm <laughs> sure your paper's been. Yeah, man, I didn't have a highlighter. Didn't even fucking Bob Lazar, man, back in the day, like, insinuate they've been fucking replicating alien technology back then. When was that? The fucking 90s? Yeah, the 90s. Imagine that shit that they fucking have now, man. And now what? what didn't you um, – I'm not I'm not going to fucking steal the thunder from you, but um, didn't you say that David Grouch, man, like a lot of his alien answers were completely fucking taken out of the mainstream news? Yeah, so lately um, the AP, which is the Associated Press, which – Apparently, which I read into actually is all the news you see in like the little local communities that are major events happening overseas. 
come mm. from AP. They just shoot out their stuff. They shoot their load all over you. They yeah. they so they sell their fucking propaganda anyway. Yeah, you know, double handed screaming eagle, whatever you want, baby. So they sell this uh, news thing. So they they did the Congress mm. uh, when David Grash, uh, Commander Fravor, was doing uh, speaking to Congress about certain activities that are happening. Mm. Yeah, a, a lady, a senator lady. Um, yeah, she she looked human. Was she hot? Uh, you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. I didn't know how to say it. I said she looked like a human, but she was actually not bad looking for a politician. All right. True. I'll get a photo up here. Um, <laughs> but anyway, this lady asked, so in the uh, UOP, because he was part of the crash retrieval program, uh, yep. when these uh, UOPs did crash, were mm. any biologics or uh, you know remains found? And he goes, oh, not into what you're saying, but, and then they cut that out. AP cut that out. He Then if you go to the real long term, he does explain that they did find non-human biologics, biologics in the craft, meaning not fucking from this planet or Earth or what was it? They don't know. Let's discuss that. If they didn't find fucking uh, extraterrestrial beings in the craft, what yes. do you think it could possibly be? Well, they could um, – this uh, the guy that did whistleblow before with his book uh, Louis, whatever his fucking name is, El Zorado, He did mention that in the fifties, uh, when they did find a UFO that was crashed, um, there was a biological thing in there, but it wasn't. It was. It didn't have the cog- cognitive function, like it couldn't, like us, like we can discuss, talk things. It was just a function of that machine. Maybe drone cyborgs, perhaps. Yeah, so that's what he was getting into. Like so. The craft of the UAPs that you might see they do these maneuvers, some of them are, are just have been maybe whoever sent them have has made a bean or something that fits into that craft to, to mm. pilot it for whatever fucking reason. Maybe they don't use like technology we think, like we're sending out AI. Maybe biologically that is the AI. Man, realistically, if you've mastered fucking time and space, you wouldn't put your own personnel inside a fucking like um, uh, a craft that's coming down into hospitable fucking territory, hospitable, inhospitable fucking territory like fucking planet Earth. Wouldn't you manufacture some sort of thing that replicates your intelligence and can report back to you that you don't give a fuck about? Exactly. So, you know, I guess you got to think, so if we're going to send out probes or drones or one in the future to uh, other worlds, how, mm. how are we going to get there? Like, it's you going to take a <laughs> You're not, not going to do it. Yeah. How long does it take to get to Mars? Six months um, or something? <laughs> what is it, like six days to the moon, which we never landed on, never landed on. Yeah, uh, exactly right. Fucking my notes are everywhere, man. I, I can't even – it's really hard to see. Well, while you get yourself fucking uh, sorted, man, um, I sent you probably about six different images. Yes. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna load them up on my phone so they're fresh in my memory. Go ahead. Mm. And uh, I want you to tell me how they made you feel. <clears throat> mm. Mothman. Ugh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of uh, we'll put, we'll put moths. Yeah. Uh, moths, faces. Faces, demons. Uh, yeah. Make you feel like you sort of like... Ugh. I don't like it. I, I, I believe I have witnessed this um, in my. I'm the influence of psilocybin. Yeah. Yes, me too. Me too. Um, all right. So, man, I um, sort of, when we were doing research for this fucking poll, which we haven't done in quite some time, um, I sort of bought up in my fucking notes and I was like, holy fuck, I completely f- forgot about uh, this. Have you heard about energy vision? No. Do tell, sir. Energy- was made by a man called Daniel Neems in 2007. He's a physicist, right? So basically he got um, super like invested in parallel dimensions. So he made this fucking device that these bases like it based itself on quantum physics and electromagnetic pulses. I always say it. I polarity? always say it. I thought it was polarity. So. Ah, whatever, man. Easy come, easy go. But um, anyway, he made this fucking device, man, which basically like bursts electromagnetic fucking uh, pulses, man, and um, certain fucking entities relay to those electromagnetic fucking pulses, and then they fucking reveal themselves. And then he runs this fu- like the data that comes back through his fucking machine through, quote unquote, 
advanced algorithms, which I possibly deem to be fucking artificial intelligence, and that is what creates the fucking photos of things that are around us that we can't see, right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. What happened the first time CERN booted up? Uh, They saw things that we couldn't fucking see. Guess where Daniel Neem- uh, Nemes, whatever his fucking name is, guess where he works now? Where? CERN? CERN. Interesting. So he basically created this fucking device, as I just fucking uh, articulated, that, yeah, it can just send off fucking electromagnetic fucking pulses and certain entities in that area, react to them. He sends it through advanced AI or algorithms, and then that's what creates the fucking images. So these are entities, allegedly, that live all fucking around us. We can't see them, but they're just fucking there. So and as you said, mm. like fucking Mothman, like fucking um, ETs, like everything. Well, interesting you say that. So he, so, so he's developed something, uh, as you said, to capture these um, things. Uh, mm. Allegedly it's happening. What do you – would you say around us, like physically all – like? Like this, or they all just like we are, just ran in there. So here's the thing: if you go onto fucking Google, you can find fuck all information on him. Honey. Interesting. So Daniel N E M E S Nemes or Nemes, mm-hmm. however you're that way inclined, you can find fuck all information on it. You go and duck duck go, you can find everything. And now he now fucking works for CERN. Um, I believe he chooses where to fucking launch out these fucking like magnetic fucking pulses to see if he can get a fucking reaction. But when he does get a like reaction, like he, he claims that there's fucking like entities reacting with the pulses that he's sending out. So they're reacting to him. Um, Yeah. So is he trying to uh, like signal them to come to him, maybe open up, talk, whatever, I don't know, uh, however they would. He's just absolutely fascinated with parallel dimensions. As am I. He fascinates it. So, yeah, Daniel Nemus or Niamus, whichever way you're inclined, man, get fucking random. I told you this is going to be a fucking three-minute segment. But, yeah, man, and man, you can go on and see all the photos that he's fucking seen, and it's basically all the fucking shit that, like, you're like, that's an ET, that's Mothman. Like, yeah. it's fucking bizarre, man. So are these creatures... Do they actually exist? Or is yes. Daniel Eunice actually fucking like now that he works for fucking CERN, is it all fucking bullshit? Or is it all fucking true, man? You know what I mean? Like Look, I there could be it could be part truths to it. There could be like a sliver of information or he, he's unlocked something that then now he's now um being he's now an agent for CERN now. Maybe they're taking him back, you know. Give me some money, uh, relinquishing that. He'll probably have some disinformation information coming out of this if it does leak. Or, you know, as you see, you see the uh, quote-unquote junkie or homeless drug addict walking down the street mm. talking to weird entities. Maybe they're mm. right. Maybe. So what you're saying is we should all just spool up a fucking fat bowl of ice, man, and just fucking check out the entities. I don't condone drug use, but if you are doing this and you do see things, do tell. Please ring us. Um, <laughs> and share around the bowl. Five six nine two and um, yeah, give us a bit of that too. You know what I mean? Yeah, for our research purposes only, of course. Uh, we do con- do not condone any use of whatever. It doesn't matter. Mm. But look, I think I've seen objects like that. I saw the angel death uh, several times. Uh, maybe that was me uh, close to death. I'm not sure. Have you ever experienced the angel of death? I haven't. Explain further. Well, I don't know if it was from heavy use of a vaporizing product. Uh, the vape, vape. They used to call we it. We were hard up them. We were hard up them. Yeah, we're like junkies, I guess. <laughs> yes, we um, were. I don't know if it was uh, cutting uh, oxygen to my brain or something. Uh, mm. I, I would experience this weird sensation. Uh, say, my first one, I was, I was alone at night. Um, uh, at the computer, obviously doing uh, research on various topics. Um, mm. <laughs> then I, as I was reading, say like you got, I don't know, this book here, right? You got, it says mediations. Copy. I could not read that. I, I could read med, at, med er, or what the fuck's that say? And then the words disappeared in the middle. Man, look. What is really this? And and then, wait there, Maybe excuse me, sir. having a stroke. It, no. I haven't explained it fully yet, okay? You just cut me off about having a stroke. Sorry, right, right, uh, 
Yeah. So it, other people could have experienced this on their travels. They might be driving to work and holy fuck, I can't see. Uh, mm. Should I pull over? It's up to you. Mm. But also, so after that, this shimmer was coming. And I think it was my right or left eye, whatever it was, it doesn't matter. A shimmer mm. man. It was a geometrical pattern, a circle in shape with these, like, it was all geometrical, right? And it was going, mm. it was like that. Mm. And I was like, holy fuck. And then it got brighter and brighter. And then I felt real weird, right? And then someone said, hello, can you hear me? And then what? it snapped off. Bullshit. Yeah, and I felt real sick afterwards, heaps scared, heaps depressed. I had to go lay in the shower, man, and I was – well, it happened, it's happened several times and I've never told anyone about the, the word that was spoken because I just thought I heard something. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, and I was – anyway. Like geometrical fucking patterns. Yeah, so was I potentially experiencing one of these entities uh, that entered me through the uh, – Degenerate use of uh, vaporizing nicotine in my system, which caused oxygen to not flow to my brain properly, potentially. Look, I think it's extremely plausible, man. There we go. We got it there. Extremely plausible, as uh, Peacock has said, more power to me. Well, realistically, man, if you drink so much fucking piss like I have um, in certain times, man, you'll start hearing fucking voices. Is that alcohol induced psychosis, or is that the devil, man, coming to talk to you? <laughs> it could be the devil. Like, uh, yeah, we call it the devil. Like it could be the things that we can't see interacting with us, uh, trying to lead us not astray. But why can't we interact with them and become their demons or do we? Oh, uh, man, honestly, I have fucking no <laughs> idea. It's plausible, I suppose. It's plausible. It is plausible. Um, but, yeah, it's very interesting. I like that. I've seen things. Uh, now I've seen a, a UAP, which you always used to send me um, photos and, and videos. If anyone else is out there seeing it, send us or tell mm. us, comment, whatever. Um, I didn't – I believed him, obviously, and I always wanted to see one. You're like, no, nah, you just got to look. You can't. And then when you look, man, you see one and you're like, oh, my fucking God, and you get that feeling, that tingling up your fucking spine because it's something you can't explain. Yes, and that's my first thought. Who do I tell? I'll tell you, obviously. But mm. who the fuck is going to – like maybe if I did speak, other people have had similar experiences or like maybe uh, because we're so – down in our phones and we're not looking and observing the sky anymore as much. Mm. Well, or there's more that, here. What was that fucking app where you can report fucking UAP? Uh, UAP uh, songs? Yeah, I think move on. Move on. Move on, yes. And then they're like, oh, this is anonymous, but we need to know your full name, your address, and where you work and everything else. Fuck off. Never report to them, cunts. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I, I, I agree too because I I did look after that and the first information as you said I said I want to submit anonymously uh, and not whatever the word is uh, no. here full name date of birth this I'm like what the fuck why yeah, would I give you this information name you're like why do you need all this information for an anonymous UAP fucking sighting that within itself tells you that it's not fucking anonymous man and I don't know maybe they're trying to fucking build a database but man here's the fucking thing which we've been talking about fucking like recently. What if you were abducted, right? So yeah. you're abducted. You were taken up to the fucking mothership. Um, I don't. I personally don't think they probe you. I think that was a horrible, like um, Hollywood fucking thing. Yeah. But then you come back down. You start telling people, and then you, you know, you got the fucking weird markers. You got the fucking implant, and then you just disappear. W would you keep it to yourself, or would you just tell your fucking your kin, man? You know what I mean? Uh. Well. Fuck. Uh. Well, you hear the horror stories of people admitting it and and they do sound crazy. Like, I, I, I'll admit it. Like, I thought people were fucking insane. What's that noise? Well, if you listen to Barney and Betty Hill, man, yeah. insane. <laughs> fucking sound, man. Look. You know what I mean? Pure terror. Look, I, until it's happened to me, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'll be honest with you. It, 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 well, the old mate was saying that the implants have been put in people. Not, non, oh, sorry. In South America. Off world. Huge. It was fucking huge in South America, man. Tiny little fucking triangles of medical uh, metal that we can't fucking detect just behind the fucking ear. And then they fucking dig them out, man. They've got a fucking magnetic fucking pulse and a vi like a vibration. And they dig them out of people's fucking ear. And then, then people just fucking go missing. Like that fucking chick in South America that had a fucking, do the fuck, what do they call it? The fucking scan for the baby? Uh, fuck. Ultrasound. 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 And it was some sort of fucking hybrid. She just went fucking missing. See you a later. Hybrid? Yeah. They're breeding with us now. 
Yeah, well, have been actually for years. I know the reptilians yeah. are. They're very interested in uh, our sexual organs. Um, well, it's crazy when you talk about like as you always talk about predictive fucking programming. I watched American Horror Story, the newest fucking season, or one of the newest fucking seasons, yes. where they're basically like abducting fucking humans to put them into a fucking breeding program. And I was like, predictive programming, <laughs> normalize it, make it crazy. Well, that's it, man. Like, fucking, are they normalizing UAPs? Are UAPs not going to be cool anymore? Like, uh, there's so much information coming out. And also, there's like, UAPs are here. Non human intelligence exists. The other news. Uh, mm. People do say exist, but also, Congress, in their good faith, has, uh, they made a, a, what is it? The All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office in July in 2022, after all this yeah, UAP shit's come out, right? Mm. Good old Congress in the Pentagon, eh? the establishing agency. So they investigate um, UAP sightings, uh, abductions and stuff like that, and they Copy. deem if it is real. <laughs> they deem if they, it's real. Yes, so they deem with the videos like the Go Fast, the Tic Tac and all stuff like that. Um, they also, I, so in, in one of their reports, one, huh? Can I interject there for one second? Yep. So even though there has been proven that there is a fucking government agency, especially in the fucking US, that every major UFO video that gets put out, they pump out 20 fucking UFO videos that look like fucking shit. So then they deem what's real. Yes. Yeah, well, that's, anyway, sorry, to you. that's the best yeah. way to do it. Just spread, they own the media and, and pump out disinformation things that look fake. Like there'd been, I think there was a video that came out or whatever, a UAP that looked legit and then it was fake. And then a million others came out and who knows which one was real. But so the, yeah, anyway, so they, they try and debunk this stuff. Um, they've also said they found no verifiable, verifiable evidence for claims that the US government and private companies have access to or have been reverse engineering extraterrestrial technology stated by the uh, the new pr- uh, agency set up by the Pentagon. New world, yeah, new world order, yeah. More what do you mean they don't have fucking... <laughs> They don't know, bro. They don't know. Why would they lie to us? It's Why true. would they lie? When have they ever lied to us in the last four years? Especially never. about science. Yes, never. <laughs> um, can I take a quick moment to do a shout out? Yeah, bro. Shout out. Listen here, you fat, bald, fucking piece of shit. If you keep fucking with our algorithm, I will out you on everything. Everything. I have fucking text messages. I have phone conversations. I have everything. Stop fucking with me. Otherwise, I will fuck with you. Anyway. Anyway, back to it. So, yeah, uh, I found some weird information. I don't know if you're aware of this. Mm. Yeah, I don't have too much on it because the research I had, it was heavily censored, especially on Google. Uh, mm. I did try to go deeper about this, but um, I got an anonymous tip of uh, an associate of mine, very trustworthy guy. Mm. He has told me North Korea as a country – Excuse me? Is that Big Popper? No, this is another associate of mine. No, uh, I, I met him at the inn. Um, <laughs> so he's alleged to me, this is this is live, this is going here, this is happening. Mm. North Korea as a country has ceased to exist in the 1980s or ceased to exist in the 1980s. So it's now mm. a joint operation between China and the US to keep people out of the area for unknown reasons. Thoughts? Questions? Hmm. Let me ponder on that for a sec. So you're saying that North Korea doesn't actually fucking exist. What about Kim? Control opposition? It's a joint operation between China and the US to keep people out of this region for unknown reasons. Heavily monitored. We sh- people do not get in there easily. There's fake towns. There's fake cities. The people who do go in there get absolutely fucking led around. Um, you know, man, you can't film things. If you did that, remember the gentleman, the US guy who filmed a propaganda photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got ju- – wow. What's I've going never, on in there? I have never thought about that before. Think about wow. it. Why is it such – like there's such a heavily militarized area. We don't know what goes on there. It, well, the the propaganda that comes out, you know, like what mm. are they – what are they – what's actually in there? Hmm? Think about it. Good heavens. Do you have any more research on that? Well, I've tried my hardest and he hasn't got back to me for days, man. He's been offline for four weeks. Uh, well, we'll definitely touch base on that. Um, man, I, man, isn't it fucking incredible when someone says something to you and you're like, <laughs> I have never thought about that before. I, it just changes everything you've fucking thought about. 
I mean, that's that's what the human experience is about. This, when people say something to you and they're like, boom, you're like, fuck. We don't have much, like, there's not much going on like that anymore. Like, we've, I know we've discussed millions of times and we've been associated with the normie fucking lifestyle roster, the Friday mm. evenings, the football. We're not talking about anything interesting anymore. We're just, we've, we've been sucked into our phones. We've been consumed to what they want us to see, right? And it's all just fucking, you, you're doom scrolling, you're doing all that stuff. You're not actually, you know, reading about UAPs. Or if you do, there's a fucking five-minute headline saying they're fake. You're a fucking idiot if you believe it. Mm. Um, all this shit's just going, like, I don't get it, man. I don't know. I, Here's the thing, too. You can present a uh, quote-unquote conspiracy theory to the fucking normies. And you're like, look, I don't have evidence to really back this up but you can think about it and sort of do your own research and fucking like think about it and delve into it they're like no nah, you're an idiot it's on google and, um, <laughs> it's fact yeah, checked. That, yeah it's been fact checked um we uh, that's it you know what i mean and yeah, it makes me sick man that's what i um open maybe i don't know maybe in the fu- in the future maybe things will change uh it's possible you got to change yourself first you got to sculpture yourself, you know. You got to do something yes, like that, do. especially your mind and body. Maybe some other things. Maybe stop mind, doing. Mind, body, soul. Stop fucking putting shit up your nose and stop drinking shit down your fucking liver. Look, we were vaping hard, and now look at us. We don't. <laughs> oh <vape>. God. Look. <laughs> but look, I'd say if you get rid of all the all the consumable shit, like the say mm. the fast foods, all the bad stuff, the drinking, the, the as you mm. said, snorting shit up your nose. You might actually feel good in a week or two. Yeah. I'm telling yes. you. <laughs> Maybe. Um, also, while we're out here, man, um, obviously because our phone's not fucking running at the fucking moment, but PCK, we love you and we, we haven't heard from you for quite some time, but keep fucking coming in. And, man, put the cunt's fucking channel in this bio, man. Keep spun out shit, eh? I'll put one of these videos up here too. I love it. Man, I, I do love that cunt, man. He's a massive spinner. It massive is. Massive Look, as I said before, we're on the normie roster at the moment. We're trying our best. A lot of stuff's going on. Uh, we're trying to keep up to date, put some videos out there, shorts, you know. And, mm. you know, when it comes out, it comes out. But we will get better, like always. Mm. you got to work on something. You do. you, you got to do. do something. Something. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking into the um, Indigenous fucking map, like when all the tectonic blades were fucking together. And it sort of fucking broke up and was showing where Indigenous people all across the world sort of fucking like spun out. And I was like, eh, that doesn't really make sense to me, hey? Well, before that, what about the, that does make sense is a Christmas island? I mean, not Christmas island, uh, Easter island. How'd they get there? It's, well, that's it. There was no Indigenous fucking population there. There was no fucking Why are there heads there? But yeah, they fucking mined all these fucking like stone fucking heads. I'd like your. Uh, I'll bring that another thing to your point, which um, uh, Big Popper has uh, asked about a question, which relates to what you were just talking about, kind of. Yeah. Shall I go ahead with this? Yeah, absolutely. So we, he said, "This is his um, words." <laughs> so pretty much, if you excavate anywhere in the UK, you come across skeletons, etc. As it's a small country with a bloody history, but in Australia. Aboriginals have supposedly been here for over 5,000 years. Actually, if you read the Daily Mail, it's 80,000 years. So correction there. 80,000 years, correction from the Daily Mail. Thank you. Uh, So they had wars against each other. They would have all, you know, they all probably lived predominantly along, uh, you know, the coast as we do. Um, Mm. Lions, bodies of waters to survive, obviously. That makes sense. Most of them would. Uh, So it just so happens we all live here now too. Why aren't we finding Aboriginal remains, weapons, signs of life, etc., when we build and dig shit up like we do in the medieval times like the Romans? You find shit everywhere. Holy fuck. It's, I, I did ponder on this for a while. I did have a research and all I could find was how long um, the Aboriginals to this land had been here for. Well, was there Aboriginal burial sites? Because obviously if there was, we would have felt like dug them up, especially as you said, they live by the fucking coast. Well, if, if they've been around for 80,000 years, which is oh, – 80,000 oh, years. I assume that's a long time, right? Roman Empire. It's, it's a long time. Um, look, they there would have been 
I don't know, a lot of deaths maybe. Unfortunately, people do die. They, they, they would have probably had, as you said, burial areas uh, for their, their, their dead and stuff like that. Uh, so along this coast where there's a lot of people live right now, right? <laughs> wow. I have never fucking thought about it again. Oh. Me too. But as you said, the, the small research I did, they just – it was explaining how long they've been here for um, and fact-checking me about certain things. But anyway. So – History 80, 000, can be written by the victors. I suppose. 80,000 years, yeah. Well, realistically, we would be digging them up all along the fucking coastline, all due respect. Um, yeah, it's, it's just what, a question what, of thought. That fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's just a fucking thought. It's just a thought experiment. This is what, what yeah. We found, like, graves of Aboriginals. And, like, if, if they didn't bury their dead, surely that there would still be fucking bones, like, as the sand or the tide, whatever, comes in. You know what I mean? Well, that's it. Like, they could wander off, you know, whatever, and, and died somewhere. And especially on this coast here, like uh, you know, on the east coast, yeah. the beaches, the camps, it's, uh, you would you would find these human ruins. Right. Sorry? It, 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 it's such a touchy subject, but realistically, man, like, dude, it's interesting. Like, yeah, it is. It is. So you know, in service paradise or fucking wherever, do they dig up huge fucking buildings? And fucking find Aboriginal bones because, as you said, they were so densely populated in the fucking UK due to their like centuries of fucking bloodshed. Like, and that mm. have we seen them here? Have we seen them here? Exactly. And that wasn't eighty thousand years of history. Either. Eighty thousand years. Mm. Eight. Eighty thousand years. Like we, I'm- I thought civilization didn't exist. <laughs> exactly. Look, man, fuck the stigma. I'm calling fucking bullshit on that. 80 fucking <laughs> thousand years, 80,000 fucking years, yep. it will be littered with fucking skeletons. Doesn't matter where you are. If you're in PNG, New Zealand, fucking anywhere, it would be littered, littered, littered. with fucking skeletons. But, yeah, 80,000 years and what? Like, how often have you seen the fucking, like, comment down below or fucking comment on Facebook, whatever, because uh, there's going to be some cunt with, like, green hair and big glasses. And it's like, oh, but they could be a good thing. Man, I'm calling bullshit on it, though. Yeah, we just want to see if you can show us some research. That's what's it, that's what's it about. It's like – Want to see the fucking research? Yeah, we. That's how we all learn better. If you know, show us sources of things. Uh, we like mm. to discuss things critically. We don't really like have much notes going on. Like we we have things going on that we've researched and stuff, and we just like to ponder on the thoughts and then get some feedback from. Maybe research a bit more. That's what it's about. How, how hard was it to find information on this? Very hard. Very <laughs> hard. Zero Bizarre. information. Bizarre. Nothing about yeah. what I said, or I put I inputted a lot of things just to see uh, similarities. Like, um, was there large burial sites? Uh, maybe when we were building big skyscrapers, or to, not much. Yeah, and it's, surely, like, <laughs> as they go down, like as they being fucking like Rome and stuff like that, you would eventually find fucking skeletons. Same with fucking Britain. Same with the fucking Celts. Everything. But man, it it would be fucking mind blowing. I know. If I'd be they interesting. Find it. There. It'd be interesting. But man, that's more interesting. Send us the info if you have it. And if you're Anthony Albanese, get fucked. I'm not returning your calls. <sighs> Fucking hell. Is he still calling you? Still, man. Yeah, man, he still wants to suck me off. Jesus. He's a – man, look, you can't blame the guy for having to go. You know what I mean? He's trying his <laughs> hardest to uh, suck your dick. Like, good on him. And he's the man that runs our country. Like, wouldn't you want a fighter like him? Man, he's the biggest piece of shit. Can I um? Can I ask you something? Yeah. What's the story with the flag behind there? It seems uh, rather anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitic. Mm, it does. Big what gold f- eagle. How does it fucking anti-Semitic? What? Yeah. Well, can you explain it for the people? SPQR. That's the Senate of Rome. Is it? Yeah. See, a lot of people like myself wouldn't know that. Oh, there you go. Look it up. It's the um Senate of Rome. SPQR. And the eagle is obviously a Roman iconic symbol, like the mm. bull, like the ram, like the wombat. You are the wombat, man. I am the wombat. But I don't know. I just think their values at that time, um, like line up with I think a lot of a lot of things that has gone wrong in their time and what's going wrong now, and what we can learn from, and I think what we can bring back 
from the past, the good but like the good parts of the ancient stuff where society was going somewhere, men were being men, and mm-hmm. things were happening, right? Men. We're not brings me to, uh, like this point where society's fucking going. Do you remember the um, Starshoot Troopers movie? Oh, excellent film. Yeah, so, man, you had to sign up for the fucking Alliance, man, to fight the fucking aliens, to have a pass to breed. Remember, the, I mean, they had communal showers. Oh, stop it. But they had communal showers, man, and uh, one bitch was like fucking one woman. <laughs> like, um, you know, I'm I'm just like fucking fight the aliens so I get a breeding pass and I go back home, man. man breeding pass? Think, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, so she gets a pass to have kids because she fights the fucking aliens. Well, that's Bro, good. So now. All right, now that that's done. Dear God. Um, Realistically, man, Starship Troopers, man, they, they had all, like, Senate fucking um, values, man, for a futuristic, like, utopia. Well, wasn't it become a citizen? Yeah, a like, citizen. Yeah. Like, well, look, I think that's it. You have to... Maybe go to war against uh, an opposition that's hard and there's means of it. But, like, look, I know that story was like that, but you could bring that into the modern age where you should be fighting for something to get something back. You should be showing yourself a worth to society, not a scumbag little fucking thief or something like that, where your hands should be chopped off. I believe in that. Is that crazy? Great. Like, you know, stuff like that. But we can bring the goodness of the past into the modern society, which is now where, where modern day slaves, I'll admit it. If you cannot, yeah. if you do uh-huh. not look at your fucking life right now and where it is going and, and think like the next 10 years, where it will be, I can imagine it's going to be in the same fucking place. Majority of you. If not further back, you've dipped out of your savings, man. You sit in your fucking cushy job, man, to work your fucking eight to fucking four, man. You keep coming home. You watch your fucking quiz shows. Your missus cooks up a fucking salad while you do the fucking meat and you keep repeating. You keep repeating. You keep repeating. And you're locked in this fucking cycle and suddenly you become happy in that fucking cycle. You have to you're like, what the fuck am I doing? Surely, surely there's millions of fucking people out there that are like, I don't want to do this anymore. There has to be something else there has to be and there is something else and that's what's going to be happening and be, it's being built upon at this very moment there's men out there building upon this new uh, or, or idea or whatever it is to mm. break free of the chains which is modern day slavery that's what it is i'll fucking admit mm. it right now that's what it is you think of slaves back then they probably had it better well basically slaves like because realistically people think of fucking slavery not so much in the fucking um U.S. sort of slavery, but people think of slavery like the Hebrews and stuff back in the day. You had to look after your fucking slaves, give them a roof over their head and give them fucking food. Otherwise, they'd fucking die. They're not going to procreate and make more fucking slaves. Yeah. You have to give them a day off. They got a day off when they were, quote, unquote, (laughs) making the pyramids, which didn't happen. No, they levitated. You have to look after your fucking slaves. Otherwise, they're not going to be healthy enough to work for you. So th- that's how it works. So how do we look after the modern day slaves if you're a giant corporation or government? We're all fucking slaves. Yeah, but how do you look after your slaves? Give you enough money to fucking procure a fucking, pay you the fucking rent, get your carton of piss, fill up your car, fucking get your food, go to the raffles on Friday, fucking that's what you do with your fucking slaves now. They put on the footy. Put give, on him a, the give him a phone. Yeah, give him a phone. So you got your fucking TikTok. And you, got your BB, you got your BBW porno, which you're always going on about. Fucking but, man, goodness. that is modern-day fucking slavery, man. And if you, but, if you think, oh, no, it's not, and, and how, think about how would you break out of it. How would you break out of it? How did I break Think about oh, it. I'm on my way to fucking breaking out of it. You have to fucking work on your body. You got to work God. on your fucking mind. You got to fucking like. Do things that make you fucking happy outside the fucking nine to five. Don't come home from your fucking nine to five and just go, oh, yeah, there's some fucking thoughts dancing on fucking TikTok. That's not going <laughs> to fucking happy. Don't beat up the fucking porn, man. Like, just focus on yourself. Go to work. Do your thing where you're like, oh, yeah, interact, talk about the fucking football. It's all fucking bullshit. Interact, be an NPC. Come home and then build on yourself. Definitely, and I, I, I do suggest that. Build on your mind and body first. Mm. Uh, definitely clean up your eating. If you fucking are eating, I'll attest to it. I ate shit. 
I wonder mm. why I've got brain fog. It must be, I don't know what. You know, you smoke, you drink, you eat shit, repeat, repeat, repeat. You will not get better. You might have a glimpse of hope every now and then. Oh. But you got to fucking delete that shit out, all right? Delete that shit out. Actually, your brain mm. frog is not from, you know, fucking I don't know what. Like it, it's not from. It's not from stress. It's not yeah, from weed. Depression. It's not from I'm depressed. I need a fucking pill because then they enslave you even more and that's in that path. Trap you, man. You and I used to know once a uh, great fucking schemer, a great fucking uh, psychonaut old man that believed in all UAPs and stuff like that, and he jumped on the fucking pharmaceuticals, man. Now he doesn't want to talk about it. What? <laughs> but the what pharmaceuticals happened? are there to fucking dull you down. And why Why do they sell like hotcakes? Why do they make billions Wait. of pills every fucking year, more than that, to give to people? Why can you not get off it? Exactly. It's not a you cure. You can never no, get off. Man, there's no money well, in a cure. Sorry. No, there's no no money in a fucking cure, man. It's all about fucking treatment. Do you know what's when a free I- cure? Just before you go there, fucking doing push ups, eating fucking proper food, just eat meat, just eat fucking whatever. That will cure you in fucking two weeks. At least. Easily. At least two weeks. Easily. Maybe give it three weeks. PCK, if you're out there, start doing push ups, man. You, you, Man, you've got the mind on lock. Get off the piss. Start doing push-ups, man. You will fucking demolish. You'll demolish. He's a good kid. Yeah, I love you, PZK. Okay. And remember seeing the littered of fucking alcoholic beverages here. Everywhere. Mm. What the fuck were we doing, man? I, like Sometimes I couldn't even speak English when I was doing a podcast. Like mm. maybe uh, I found it, I, I needed to do it to maybe speak about things or bring up topics and stuff like that. But Yeah, like, a little bit uh, consistent. But it just fucked me up, man. I'd wake up going, holy fuck, what's going on here? Like, Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I'll do a, an hour presentation of how how to unlock the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can I um, go to the bathroom? Yeah. All right, go. Can I tell you something? What is it? So they're remaking fucking Fight Club with an all-female cast, right? Wonderful. Cannot wait. Yes, it should be fantastic. Even though Fight Club is about the male urge to fight the fucking system, that'll be fucking great. Um, Ben, you want to see the best fucking uh, fight scene of all time? Yes, I do. They live. They live. You've never seen They Live? Oh, fuck, probably, man. I've seen that much shit, man. Um, puts on the fucking sunglasses and you can see all the fucking aliens and, like, he looks at a billboard and it says, like, Coca-Cola and he puts on the sunglasses and it just says obey or consume. Oh, yeah. Pro- ages ago, man. Like, I, I've i I've consumed that much fucking media, man. I don't even know what the fuck's real anymore. I'll, mm. I'll give you a hot tip right then. There's too much information out there. We need less there information. We need – all we need to narrow it down or something. It's fucking too much, man. Look – the propaganda machine, which I've printed off here, I have a laser printer if anyone's interested. Do you have one? No. <laughs> so I've been decided I, I wanted to print stuff, man. Do you ever get the urge? Um, Do you? No. no. What? Yes, yeah. I'm sure there's people out there that have the same opinion, man. Sometimes you just feel like printing documents. Anyway. Um, laser Inkjet 2. Uh, uh, mm. Someone who fathered me uh, recommended it. So yeah. um, I decided to. Test the printer out. It's not that big, but uh, it's just, it's just mm. from the propaganda machine. So there, there, there's a headline here from the, the news organization. Uh, mm. where, where as good as it gets, intelligent mm. life is extremely unlikely to uh, in bold, unlikely to exist in capitals anywhere yeah. else in the universe because it took a series of mir- miracles of humans to evolve, says scientists. Wait there. Miracles. So these scientists, who the fuck knows who they are? But anyway, it goes on, in a new paper, Oxford researchers theorized that for life to have evolved the same way somewhere else, it would have taken longer than the whole of Earth's projected lifespan. (laughs) What does that even mean? (laughs) And who are the scientists? All right. So here's the fucking, like, crazy thing about fucking evolution, right? So you know how they claim, like, some sort of fucking um, heptopod fucking, like, pond in ocean and it became a fucking whale over the course of millions of years, right? Yes. That, that's what they claim. Like no, no. Some sort of came and it became Damn a whale. It. Okay. So why don't we have the interspecies fucking fossils, like where it's slowly like growing fins and stuff like that? Why? Uh, because it never happened. 
Is that what you want me to tell you? <laughs> it's fucking bizarre, man. Like it just all right. This fucking deer goes into the ocean, becomes a whale. Fantastic. We've got fossils of both of those things. But why don't we have the fucking I don't know fifteen evolutionary changes between that? Well, exactly right. And I got another thing. Why aren't the fucking whales walking on land yet? When are they? Yeah, well, when are they coming out? I know they beach they, themselves, but are they try and become land animals again? Where are the mean, fish? Where are the fish? Are they? You gotta watch them guns, man. The the whales. The whales, man. You know, actually, interesting news off the east coast of where we're from. Um, mm. They sighted uh, some orcas. I didn't know they come this far up. I have seen fucking orcas when I what? walked up the break wall not too long ago. And I said the same thing. I was like, I did not realize they came this far up. Aren't they like due down fucking south? Yeah, Antarctica are all like up north. What's happening mm. is is there something happening in Antarctica we're not aware of? Oh. There definitely is something happening in the fucking south Wales. What do you got? What do you got in your research? Um, oh, fuck, where I had it. Um, so yeah. I know you're very interested in the law of bells. In throughout history, correct? Mm. You're fascinated oh, yeah. with them, absolutely, man. So where do they happen. all go? But anyway, there was this fucking. I've researched it from. Anyway, there's a, Are you talking about the healing properties of bells, <laughs> the magical properties, the elemental mm. properties. Where are mm. they now? A lot of things. So, did you you you're aware of the biggest bell in history? Um, yeah, it's in the fucking US. Yeah, no, it's not in the US. Unfortunately, it's in. I don't know, Asia somewhere, Vietnam. Uh, it was. It's called the Great Bell of Damazidi or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was yeah, made cool. in uh, the 1500s. Yeah. Uh, massive bell. Bronze bell, yeah. uh, other metals in it. Good it, diamond. <laughs> big girth. I haven't got an actual diamond. But anyway, it went missing. Okay. So. What are we missing? <laughs> but there's a lot of bronze, realistically. I think someone sold it. Um, probably not. Like, uh, stole it, mm. sorry. Uh the current status, uh, many people bel- uh, believe the bell is around this uh, lake area in um, Vietnam and they've, mm. they've, they've had exploratory, I can't even say the word, uh, dives. Uh, they've used Sony images, no luck. Uh, several men have died on the expedition. Um, yep. it's, there's a lot of shipwrecks around this area where apparently this bell went missing. Anyway, yep. they do say that this, this bell had um, letters on it that were not of this world. They were mm. not aware of it. Um, I've written it down somewhere. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, le- letters on it that no nation on earth, uh, on earth could understand. It was the biggest spell ever made. Uh, pr- they tried to hide it and they lost it, all right? And Can I know- interject there for a second? Yes. One second. One second. Have you heard about the fucking um, Tibetan fucking healing fucking pots that they put in your fucking head? Is it a bell? It basically is. So it's a fucking copper and brass fucking pot they put on your head and they strum it with this fucking thing and then they stroke it. It lets off all these fucking like vibrations, man. Apparently it can heal you of any illness. Of any illness? Uh, uh, that's just what I've been told. Well, that's what they're bringing up with these bells. They believe they had healing or magical properties. Uh, they, <laughs> they built a lot of these bells um, and they reckon in the 20th century a lot, a lot of them were destroyed. So what you're saying is that we all set off fucking vibrations and when something gives us positive vibrations, it can heal our fucking um, illnesses. Well, it's it's possible, yes. Like they, they were used for vibration practicals. Why the fuck would you make a huge bell? <laughs> yeah. With weird magical words on it that no one could read and for some reason when the uh, mud floods happened, they all disappeared. Mm, and we don't it. create them anymore for some unknown reason. Mm. So if we do create more large bells... Maybe the earth can slowly heal once again. How about this? When you come in here fucking tomorrow, we'll go to the fucking gym and I will take you up the cathedral. You can go all the way to the top where the bell, the, the bell fucking like chimes, hey? And up here we'll have footage of uh, me exploring the, t- uh, the bell. And we chime it? Yeah, it's fucking heaps good, man. Well, so so that there is an actual bell there or just chimes? Oh, I don't know. I haven't been up there in many years, man. That was during my XC phase too, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a bit, bit blasé. People do re- reckon demons destroyed the bells for whatever reason. Mm. <laughs> there's, there's a lot. I can't even, I can't read in this fucking mask. I wish I could. All right. So tomorrow, man, we're going to go up the fucking cathedral, walk, pardon me, walk all the way to the fucking top, 
and um, Lixie Boy will fucking film it all the way because, man, it's a spiral staircase all the way to the top and you go through all these weird-ass fucking levels, hey? What? And Is there a priest also, up there? They also have... Yeah, you wish. They okay. also have, like, the main altar is, like, a fucking giant gold eagle, like, just behind you. Object A? Mm, exactly. So, yeah, we've got to get that footage fucking tomorrow, man. It'll just be fucking... It will all work out, my friend. It's all right, man. Um, everything will be all right. We'll grease up, too, hopefully. And there's nothing wrong with greasing up another man. Or is you it? Grease. Degrease. Nah, you want to grease up, man. Bro, if the <laughs> goes, can you just fucking grease me up real quick? You're like, yeah, I'll Get a grease the man up. Hmm. All right. Maybe, yeah, that's what, maybe that's what we're missing in society. Maybe men, we're, like, we're not greasing each other up enough. <laughs> Completely agree. <laughs> I'm Peacock. I'm Lex. Stay sweaty. Stay sweaty. Man, do you ever watch Dawson's Creek as a kid? Was it um, a kid show? I think it was an adult show. Yeah, I feel like it was an adult show.